Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about the basics of program design for quadruped movement in athletic training. This is part of a greater series of videos. I think this is video four or five, where we've talked about the basics of program design. One part of that is Herbertism. 10 points as laid out by George Herbert in the 1800s, early 1900s that have been super influential in almost every form of training you see on the planet, gymnastics, military training, obstacle coursing. This is the basic series of ideas that are the foundation of all of that. We have a previous video where we talk about program design for walking. We have a video where we talk about program design for running. Today, we are gonna talk about quadruped movement or moving on the hands and feet or hands and knees. And then the other seven ideas that we'll need to talk about in future videos are climbing, jumping, balancing, lifting, or carrying, where the majority of fitness in the modern world lay in gym training, throwing patterns, where the majority of sport is, defense, and swimming. So quadruped movement is moving on all fours, and that could be the hands and the knees, it could be the hands and the feet. In the modern world, if you go to a big box gym and you have a National Academy of Sports Medicine trainer, the warm-ups will probably have hand and knee movement in it. Hands on the ground, knees on the ground, lift up, hands and knees in specific series in specific directions as part of corrective exercise or warm-up activities. Those two ideas are normally interlaced, corrective activity and warm-up in hands and knees. Could be different now, but that's the way it was back when I worked at a big box gym. The way that that tends to be done is counting reps, 10 on each side of something because that is a very, very easy way to program. When you get beyond the hands and the knees, which is done as corrective exercise, then you get to movement on the hands and feet. You can think about that a couple of different ways, static or traveling. Static is the one that tends to be the most accessible to the greatest number of people, so it's done the most because it requires the least amount of space. A push-up could be a version of that, but you're not really going anywhere and it's the simplest possible version of it. When you start to get beyond that, you get into things like mountain climbers. Mountain climbers fall into the category of quadruped movement, but they fall into a different category of quadruped movement. Think about them in the category of what we would think of as calisthenics. Calisthenics are simple movements, intentionally simple movements, so they take a minimum amount of time to learn so that you can grade people in big groups on who can do the simplest movements the best in the least amount of time. Think about calisthenics, getting down on the ground, hands and feet, burpees, push-ups, mountain climbers, as being intentionally simple so that they require the least amount of instruction to have the greatest number of people get benefit from them in the least amount of time. When we get beyond the idea of calisthenics or keeping it as simple as possible, then you get into that idea of body flow activities or gymnastics-based activities where we start to ramp the complexity up. You can still ramp the complexity up and keep it in a static space. This is where I tend to lie in my training ideas because calisthenics are covered very well by other people and flow stuff, the stuff after this, is covered very well by other people. In order to accomplish quadruped designed movement in a small space, then we would probably go into our time under tension protocol where you will perform a specific series of activities in a set amount of time, say 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of break. You break down advanced movements into small digestible chunks and then you practice them. Then you track your time so that you can figure out if you're getting better. When you get beyond static space, then you have hands and feet and you start to travel. Think about that in two ways. You can travel in a straight line. Simplest way to do that is to travel distance or to travel in one direction for X amount of time. Four minutes, five minutes, eight minutes, 10 minutes. Four minutes starts to get real hard real fast. Anything above 90 seconds of quadruped movement on the ground in one direction starts to get very, very hard on most people because most people are not adapted to that type of endurance movement. So it can make you sexy pretty quickly with a very simple program. If you're not just traveling in a straight distance, if you wanna travel in all directions, we get into the idea of flow. And that can be broken down into a bunch of different ideas. The basics of capoeira, moving on the ground with hands and feet, 
but doing it in a circle with OODA loop, observe, orient, decide, act, reactive training. Another version of that is what is called animal flow. Animal flow is where you take a bunch of basic movements and you do them without the OODA loop in a flow pattern. So it starts to look exactly like old school martial arts forms with a different series of base exercises. Basics of animal flow movement are crab or crab reach, chest towards the sky, quadruped hands and feet on the ground, crab reach, reach up, reach back overhead. And there are a bunch of breakdowns of just that one thing. Tripod, tripod overhead, tripod, tripod overhead reach and then linking that into turns, tripod reach towards the ground. We will make videos on all of these separate ideas. Beast load, which you can think of as coming from a child's position and driving forward. I can think of 12 versions of that off the top of my head. Sliding plank, knee up, sliding plank forward, knee up, sliding plank back, sliding plank with the knees off the ground. Forward ellipse, rear ellipse, wave ellipse. The list goes on and on and on. Side traveling ape, moving laterally, putting your hands on the ground. Beast forward and back, same idea as in the beast load. Different ways of moving in and out of what they call beast position in animal flow. We will make separate videos on that because it's a very, very big idea. Moving crab forward and back. So think about beast, quadruped movement with your chest pointed towards the ground, a whole family of movement. Think about crab movement, chest pointed towards the sky, moving in a bunch of different directions. And then think about switching between those two ideas in quadruped movement, chest pointed towards the ground, getting to chest pointed towards the sky. There are an almost infinite number of ways to combine these ideas together. And that is the point of something like quadruped movement. It is a basic human skill that fires absolutely every muscle in your body and you can never reach the end of it because you can always combine basic movements in different ways, in different directions for different amounts of time. A side kick through family. If you follow any of my other programs, I love the side kick through family. That would be sit through hip, sit through leg, sit through leg, push up, sit through leg, push up into dancer's extension and front step. I call this an outside lunge. These movements are fairly common in every type of advanced quadruped movement system, but they get renamed based on what organization is teaching them. All of these ideas exist specifically in martial arts like wrestling. So if you take quadruped movement and you put it in the context of defense, then you will recreate all of these movements on accident, but they will evolve to be in response to defense. If you remove the defense from it, then it starts to turn more into what you might think of as something that starts to look like modern dance. Modern dance started with this same idea and took defense out of the equation and then started seeing if they could find the most creative and artistic ways to combine these ideas together. And then they combined it with ideas like balancing and jumping and they created a whole system based on that idea. So quadruped movement, like everything on this list, is nearly infinite. There is an infinite way that you can make walking programs because you can always change the distance, the pace, the time, the environment, the step length over and over and over again. Running, one of the most common things to be programmed in all of human history because it is fundamental to keeping people alive in the natural world. And we have a whole video about the context of that. But just for the short version, my favorite way to think about that is in hunter gatherers. You had to chase down prey animals and then carry them home. And you had to have tools in your hand to accomplish that task. My other favorite version of thinking about running is thinking about it in the context of say the Iliad or the Odyssey where Achilles takes the beach of Troy and what do they do? They run in armor with tools to a fight and they're combining walking, running, defense, carrying, throwing, all of the things get combined in that idea. So we have our basic ideas for walking, running and quadruped movement. And then we start to build out programs that could be either specific or general based on our outcome. Quadruped movement can be artistic in the version of animal flow. It can be designed specifically to elicit a training response. And then it can either be basic or advanced based on that idea. 
small space, big space, traveling distance, or put it into specific context of doing it for some other purpose like defense, which would be quadruped basic drills, moving in and out of different patterns to respond to different types of inputs. Quadruped movement is a huge idea. Everything on this list is a huge idea. Hands and knees, static, rehab. Hands and feet, the most basic version, so that the most people can learn it and get benefit in the least amount of time. Sometimes you can label that into the calisthenics category of push-ups, burpees, and mountain climbers. If you evolve that upward, then you can start to do time under tension program where you start to have focused programs where you break down different transitions and you work on more advanced type of movement skills. And you can make those specific to either art or to a specific sport purpose. So quadruped movement is a huge idea. It's almost always related to getting up off of the ground and it is cheap and easy to do because it tends to require the least amount of specific equipment. It works every muscle in your body and it can change infinitely. Distance, speed, time, direction, and combining different ideas together.